Breaking news right now at 6, a double homicide, a police chase, and a violent crash in Marion County. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brett Conley. And I'm Meredith McDonough. Police officers are scouring the scene where two women are found dead at the Springwood Village Apartments. Officers chased a suspect until he crashed about two miles away. West News' Amanda Ober is there live. And Amanda, officers found two young children in the apartment where the bodies were found? That's right, Meredith. Police tell us that these two women were shot to death in front of two young children, children who belong to one of the victims, a little six-year-old girl and a 22-month-old boy. Now, this all happened here at the Springwood Village Apartments, which is in Ocala. And right now, a crime scene investigator is standing in front of the entrance to apartment C. That's the unit where the bodies of the two women were found. According to Ocala police, this all started to unfold a little bit before 3 o'clock this afternoon when they got a call that there was a disturbance here. As they were arriving, they passed a motorcycle driving at a very high rate of speed. One officer turned around to chase the motorcycle. The other came here to the scene and found the two women shot to death inside of the apartment. The children were also with the women but were not harmed. Those children right now are with some victims advocates from the Ocala Police Department. Now, as for the officer who chased the motorcyclist, shots were exchanged. It's unclear at this point who fired on whom. We know that the suspect did crash and was hospitalized. The police officer was not harmed. And we don't know at this point the condition of that suspect, but that man fleeing on the motorcycle is suspected in the shooting. As for his relationship to the women or a possible motive, a source here at the scene tells me he may be an ex boyfriend or even an ex husband of one of the two women killed, and he may also be the father of one of those children. Now, this is a developing story. Uh, investigators very much in the thick of it at this hour. We will be out here tonight, and I will bring you updates later tonight on West 2 News at 11. Live in Ocala, Amanda Overwish 2 News.